What's up guys, Ian Sandusky back here again for Practical Machinist. Today I'm here with John with GWS Tooling Group. Thank you for having nice us here to today. You, yes. Well, we're glad to be back this year at the 2021 East Tech Show. Uh, back to be doing shows. Actually, this will be the fourth show that GWS Tool Group has participated in this year. So, with quite a few more coming up in the next couple of months. Um, would like today to just go through the booth that we have this year. This is our new 10 by 20 booth that we've brought. Uh, our marketing team has done a great job, as you can see. Yeah, it looks gorgeous. Booth together. Thanks, thanks. A lot of acquisitions have taken place this year with uh, GWS Tool Group. We've had five new uh, companies join. Brought in. Uh, brought into the uh, product. Mm -hmm. offering of GWS Tool Group, with the most recent being Monster out in California. So we're really doing a good job now rounding out the diversity of product offering that we can bring to the market. And what are Monster most known for? Milling products. Milling products. They have milling, uh, high performance milling, general uh, purpose milling, as well as some uh, general purpose reaming and drilling. Uh, and as we go through the booth and look at the different products here, I'll show you uh, through the acquisitions, the product offering that we're now able to bring through uh, the many distributors that we service our core and user base within the marketplace. So um, on this particular display here, we have some monoblock diamond style tooling. Uh, these are produced at our Arden, North Carolina facility down by Asheville. Um, so they can do monoblock, which you see here on HSK style holders. What is a monoblock? Monoblock, it's one tool. So one it's tool. all built as one assembly. It's all cut and machined as one assembly. We just added a Rollomatic Laser Smart. Oh, wow. So we're able to do most all of the features now in one chucking. So where before we had to move the tool from machine to machine, it put a lot of run out in the tool with this. It's chucked up once, every feature's cut. And you can see you have tooling brazed right yeah, in there. That's diamond that's actually diamond. brazed in there, yes. The whole way um, along. And then along this surface here so it can mill. So oh, this, you got through coolant on every single face. That's correct. So we're able to put the coolant holes wherever we want in the body. So these are steel bodies with the PCD. We can also do carbide bodies uh, and then braze the PCD on that and Oof. grind that as well. But in that case, you're actually clamping the tool in the tool holder. Right. And as you know from your machining background, anytime you clamp something, you induce run out. Right. You're and, not going to uh, get it as accurate. PCD, the life of these tools is phenomenal. We've got customers that are uh, in the automotive with block type and transmission tooling. These tools are lasting over a year in production. And that's in steel, that's in cast, that's uh, uh, in... PCD is all in the uh, non-ferrous aluminum. Non-ferrous. Right. In the, in the PCD. Now we can also offer in CBM for hardened materials, right? right? Uh, as well as we have some ceramics that I'll show on the other table to you in a second. Great. Um, then up front here is kind of a overview of just the variety of specials that we can build on solid carbide uh, shanks. You can see some are on preform style, some solid carbide blanks. At, I see through, through cooling, yeah, I yeah, see yeah. staggered twos. Certainly. 75% of what we produce at GWS Tool Group is custom, uh, custom tooling, all specials. Um, then some of the milling product and drilling product that we have about 25% of our offering is uh, standard product. Oh wow, so it really is when you say custom and standard, that is really what you guys that focus is, on. That is correct, right. We have a full set of uh, engineering team complementary at each facility, oh, wow. uh, product specialists as well. So our customers will come to us with either a new uh, item or an item that they're struggling with. We can do total turnkey. Um, where before GWS Tool Group, the legacy customers that we had, and this is our new corporate profile that we uh, have introduced. And the nice thing with us is that you don't have to carry, the, a lot of people don't like to carry literature. Right. Everything is downloadable off of our website. So if you go to GWS Tool Group, you can find all of the product offering that we have on there, our catalog. And then we like to do what we call uh, brochures that highlight just a specific product that we offer. So if people are watching right now and they want to go see right where now, to find this, you go to GWSToolGroup.com. You can see all of this. Um, so this is the, all the companies, and again, you can 
see this better if you went to the website, but all of the legacy named companies then make up GWS Tool Group. Right. So yeah, it's uh, it's come out right nice, well-rounded. So the, the advantage now is that when we have our application specialists go in and travel with uh, our distributor partners, they go into account, they're going to find something that they can be helpful on. It's not as before where, where we had one brand, like I came out of Grand Rapids, which right. was formerly uh, Alliance CNC. We only manufactured special drills and reamers. That was it. We didn't have any type of insert tool or OD tooling. So now when we go into customers, we can look at the whole thing. And then again, with the turnkey, we can do a complete package because we have all of the different products, the milling, the turning, right. uh, the diamond, the carbide. There's very little you guys very don't have Very little that we can't point. do from the uh, tooling standpoint. So Excellent. we're constantly working too to uh, bring deliveries down to meet the custom come standard, right? That's our company's mantra. Uh, we carry a, quite a large amount of carbide right. uh, and have agreements with carbide suppliers as well as many of our facilities do our own in-house coatings. So Excellent. we're controlling the coating You guys process. have the beginning of the process right to the end. Cradle to grave. That's all right. the way through. <laughs> yep. So if, if it's, it's done right. It's done by us from start to finish. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Well, we don't make it? the carbide though. I, don't, I want to make well, that Well, let's not get disclaimer. carried away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. What else are we looking at here today? Sure. So if we come over here, we have all of our inserts, um, products that we offer. A new acquisition this year was Indexable up in Canada. So uh, Up where I'm from. Yeah. I, I, I noticed that earlier that you had that Canadian dialect. But uh, anyways, eh? the ceramic, we can do the whiskered uh, ceramics as well as the white ceramics. And so it's aluminum. The white is alumina, and then the uh, green is alumina with the silicon uh, added into it. So it's a whiskered ceramic. And what are people using ceramic ceramics for? Ceramics are typically used in super alloy turning or milling, as well as a lot in uh, cast iron right. for machining. Now the grades are a little bit different, of course. It's just like within the carbide, you have your different grades for your different applications. And what's the difference between the green and the white with that additive and without? Why would you use one without the other? Uh, the hardness, uh, you don't need to add the expense of going to the more, uh, I don't want to call it the exotic, but you right. know, every time you add uh, 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 material into the process of course silicon uh, aluminum oxide is a lot less expensive than silicon right. nitride so right. you can get away with it on certain applications so then in the middle here we have uh, some of our custom thread whirling inserts so for bone screws big in the medical industry oh, wow. titanium and stainless we have uh, our zombie branded insert where uh, we put them into this whirling head and then the whirling head the screw goes through and this turns around the uh, OD and cuts the actual threads into the uh, wow. screw itself so instead of like a traditional lathe where you go in and chase One, this two, you have multiple uh, inserts so it's extremely fast would that rapid. do that in one pass just one, in yeah, it just goes in and out real real fast wow typically done on uh swiss style swiss turning swiss right. turning machines so again we have uh can do double lead and single lead screws oh, wow. so now uh in medical they've gone to a lot of uh double lead instead of a single lead thread i hear it makes when you have surgery it's less evasive and it's easier for the surgeon to drive that screw down in your bones not quite so many twists yeah i don't like to think about that but uh and then over here are some other uh cbn brazed inserts uh you can see these are glued down yep. some of them but uh they're actually brazed into the body the actual cbn or pcd is right down in there yeah so you, guys you can, can see, see right down in there where it's brazed into the insert body itself so these are interchangeable in and out here's another one with uh you can see right on the edge there where that's brazed oh yeah in there. right in the cutting edge yep yep 
And that's a cost savings, and you don't need to make the whole thing out of... Exactly right, right. And because uh, the body itself, that uh, is very brittle. If it's PCD, right. you couldn't clamp on the PCD. The second you twist it in, that it thing would just shatter. shatter right. correct. So uh, we're able to do that with multiple different... Uh, style, shapes, forms, and then all of this, as I said, all of our product is built on CNC equipment. So you can see in the background, well that's machining, but uh, on a CNC lathe, but the, the videos and all of our video content too is available online, just like the brochures. So you can go check it so out whenever you get a chance. you can check it all out, all of the different cutters that we offer. Uh, we have a nice corporate profile video that we introduced recently that gives a nice overview of the GWS tool group. Uh, Perfect. Sorry, as a, uh, as a whole. Yep, absolutely. So um, then we'll step down here yeah, to some certainly. more product. And what do we got here? So on this end here, we have some of our milling products. We've most recently introduced our AT4 Hurry Mill, which is a very uh, unique cutter in that it can do multiple functions. It's a little bit sharp here, but multiple functions with this cutter. So it can profile, it can slot, ramp, and interpolate or circular interpolate pockets, as well as believe it or not, it can also drill. So it's a very this unique, can drill. This can drill from Just solid. straight plunge. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And what's, are these available in. from one inch all the way down to yes. one eighth or? Yep, eighth up to uh, I believe an inch. Wow. Uh, with corner radius of square end mills. So again, all of this product is on our uh, website. We also have on our website where you can go in and check stocking and availability. Oh, awesome. And get uh, quotations on pricing a product. And right now when you're trying to get cutters, I'm sure everybody knows it's difficult. So being able to go see what's actually in stock you could get today exactly. is extremely helpful. What we have. Uh, we also are very well known at uh, GWS Tool Group for our Illumigator end mill. Illumigator. Yeah, yeah. So this is built, well, originally was built in Florida by GW Schultz, thus the uh, Gator reference, right? <laughs> they have an affinity for that. Their eh? Hurry mill is in Florida, so Hurricane. And then uh, the final cutter that we're showing here is the Pistol brand, the pistol. <laughs> which is in Springfield at our uh, production facility Springfield here. Springfield Armory. Pistol, right? yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. So we just came out with a new five flute uh, roughing mill, our ASR5 with chip breakers. Wow. So again, extremely fast removal rate with that cutter. And that's got through coolant right through, through coolant, the bottom. Yes. Uh, these are built these just to do. eat through aluminum That's as correct. fast yep, as yep, possible. Yep, yep. Max Maximum material removal rate. removal rate. Yeah. Typically, they max out with spindle speed and feed rate. They could go faster with the cutter, but the machine's the machine can't fact, keep up. Can't keep up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I see you guys do have a selection of threading tools. Oh, sure. Uh, our Beloit facility, which was formerly North American tool. Uh, yes, they do all types of custom taps as well as thread gauges. Uh, very uh, good at quick turns on taps. Yeah. They can do a custom tap in 48 to 72 hours. And then hole making, you got hole making, yes. reamers, uh, you've got through, spindle, tools, or through yes. coolant drills. Yeah, yeah. Then we have a uh, carbide tip drill, coolant fed. We have solid carbide. Uh, this one's not coolant fed, but we offer them in coolant fed as well. And what's as this well guy as, here? That is uh, the, a pack reamer. Pack is an acronym for precise, accurate, and concentric. Oh. So <laughs> where this tool really shines is most people will drill and then come back in with a mill and clean up the taper out of the hole and then come in with a chucking reamer to take the <laughs> the diameter right to size this eliminates that circular this circular cleanup this reamer will not follow a pre-drilled hole that's crazy yeah, and we have several different sizes in stock in both inch and metric as it's well as all of our drills are uh, special drill, it's not special, I should say, standard drills are offered in uh, metric as well as, as uh, imperial. Inch, yeah, fractional size. So pretty much what you're telling me, no matter what we gonna, are going to need out there, whether it's ceramics, carbides, whether I'm milling super alloys or aluminum, mm -hmm. you guys have something out there in your catalog for me. We do. 
and that's what we're like I mentioned over earlier we're looking to do is just bring that diverse product offering so that we can be uh, partnered with our distribution partners to make sure that uh, they have access to the products they need to sell to their customers so it's a nice relationship and where can we find you online uh, gwstoolgroup.com and you guys on Instagram as well uh, yes yes you are yeah, so make yeah, sure you guys yeah. look them up so one other thing I just wanted to uh, make mention of is because we do have a manufacturing facility here in the Springfield area uh, in Springfield proper tomorrow afternoon we're going to be have a hosting an open house from 2 to 7 so if anyone would be interested to come uh, you can go online to the website and there's a link to register for that and I see so food and food drinks and, on there, food and so. drinks food and beverages and tours so uh, as they say, the more the merrier, and we'd love to have people there in town for the show to stop by tomorrow afternoon by. and check us out. Thank you very much. Yeah, Ian, it was a pleasure around. today. Yep. You have a great Take day. Care. You too.